Luke Speckman here. It's my amazing wife, Brandon. And uh, right now we have the great honor to appoint uh, Jonathan and Kiana Davis, both cyber evangelist and cyber women's ministry leader. Uh, they're the dashing couple there with the uh, yellow tie and uh, the red dress. <laughs> um, John, I, uh, I have a scripture for you in Philippians chapter 2. Uh, this is Paul speaking about Timothy, but this is uh, me speaking about you, Jonathan. Verse 20. I have no one else like him who takes a genuine interest in your welfare. For everyone looks out for his own interest, not those of Jesus Christ. But you know that Jonathan has proved himself because as a son with his father, he has served with me in the work of the gospel. And... Um, I, I've known Jonathan since he was about 15 years old. Uh, Brandon has known him since he was eight. He was a kingdom kid. And um, John and Kiana uh, served tirelessly as the Connecticut region leaders. But um, we, uh, we really uh, needed desperately some help with our web presence. And um, Jonathan volunteered and immediately jumped in there and, you know, put in, you know, 12 hours, just getting things up, up and running, created new websites. And, and, uh, he just jumped in and, and really owned it. And so, uh, it's uh, my great honor, Jonathan, to appoint you a cyber evangelist today. And I look forward to the day when I appoint you as an evangelist at a later date. Um, I'll, I'll read you the other scripture on that date, but, uh, for the time being, uh, uh we appreciate your service as cyber evangelist. Yes, and for Kiana Davis, you know, Kiana was baptized uh, April 2011 and literally has been by my side ever since. I'm so grateful. And the same scripture, I ditto for Kiana. But I wanted to share for you, Kiana, is do you see a woman skilled in her work? She will serve before kings and queens. And that is exactly who you are. Kiana has a bachelor's degree in communications, um, which has an emphasis on nonprofit organizations. Everything that Kiana does is excellent in every way. Her presence, her poise, um, her heart for excellence, absolutely. Um, she is a woman who I trust with everything. And, and even this, this charge, I know that you're skilled at social media, you're skilled at photography, you're skilled at an eye for detail and excellence. And side by side with your husband, I know you guys are going to serve before kings and queens. And I'm so grateful. This is just a, the first appointment for one soon to come. I love you, my dear, and welcome to Cyber w Women's Ministry Leader. <laughs> I love you. And I now pass it on to Mike Patterson of Boston. Amen. Thank you, Brandon. Well, it's exciting. I'm excited to uh, honor, it's my honor today to appoint Aaron Bishakini as an evangelist in God's kingdom. If you can wave Aaron so everyone can see you, he's the sharp young man with the blue tie there. Uh, the Bible says in Titus chapter 3, verse 13, do everything you can to help Zenos the lawyer. And Aaron, can actually practice law in two different states, uh, New York and California. And yet he gave all that up when Luke called him to go into the ministry. Um, salaries aren't exactly the same. <laughs> so he's totally sold out for God and his kingdom. And he's become really personally a best friend. And I'm excited for you, brother. The movement's gonna use your skills uh, to be an attorney and to help out in those different ways. Um, Aaron's been a godsend, uh, especially during this pandemic. There's a passage I wanna share with you, bro in Exodus chapter four, and I've shared this with you personally, but it really means a lot to me. In verse 15, Moses had said that he couldn't speak to the people. So how could he go and bring out God's laws? And in verse 15, it says, you shall speak to him and put words in his mouth. I will help both of you speak and will teach you what to do. He will speak to the people for you and it will be as if he were your mouth and as if you were God to him. And so God chose Moses' brother, Aaron, to be his mouthpiece, to speak to the people. And, and bro, I feel like it's perfectly of God that we're together. I don't know anything about technology. I mean, our live services would be like me in my room holding my phone. It looked really bad. And yet, 
I don't know how to speak and you have been my Aaron, that's literally your name, to really bring out this message to the world. And you've taken um, the church to new heights. Uh, you've helped clean up the persecution online to make our church attractive to the world. Uh, the light is really shining so bright. He travels all the way from New Hampshire to Boston to work with the song leaders. There's so much you do and so much I could share. And I really just want to lift you up and say it's my honor today. And I'm so proud of you. You've really become one of my best friends. And I hope that today is very special because it's going to be an incredible thing uh, for God's kingdom.